Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is crazy. There is this game on Roblox called Trade Simulator. And it got shut down. And you're, like, and you're probably wondering, oh yeah, it's not big, a, big of a deal. No one even played it anyways. There were a few hundred people that played it. But... You, you, you were probably like, oh yeah, I know people spend a lot of time. It's too sad. But if you go to the third pair, no, the uh, the fifth paragraph or a summary or anything, you'll see. It says, I know many of you have invested a lot of your money into this game, and it breaks my heart. To go back on a promise, hence why it took me so long to come to this difficult decision. This game got shut down. And yet again, you're probably thinking, oh, not a big deal. It's a huge deal. I've watched a few videos of people spending almost a thousand dollars on this game. And it got shut down. That's a huge deal. Some people are going to be furious of losing a few hundred dollars because of this game. And it's all because people are gambling and like paying stuff for items, but like that's like a lose lose. The people who like spent their money to get items lost all their items and money and the people who actually didn't gamble and follow the rules and spend all their money lost their money too drama is going to start and i'm going to show a quick clip of some of a youtuber known as lonnie spending of like just a hundred like two hundred dollars on this game in like a second simulator or something along those lines so we obviously don't have anything right now but i think for the sake of the video we're going to spend 5,000 robux and yeah gg now that you're done watching this clip i you can just go ahead and leave the video but i'm going to read what this says i deeper i deeply regret to announce the closure of trade simulator Roughly two weeks ago, I launched this game as a kind of experience to see if there'd be any interest in a game of this kind. Within a day or two, the answer become, became overwhelming, clear, overwhelmingly clear, yes. However, I started noticing some deep flaws within the game. Gambling and off-game dealing quickly took over. And while it may be entirely possible to moderate, it is too significant of a driving force behind the game. One might say that a way of dealing with this issue is just to add gambling support to the game, and yeah, that could work, but I don't think I could sleep right while marketing addictive gambling mechanisms to children, not to, sh not to throw shade at other games. I know many of you have invested a lot of your money into this game, and it breaks my heart to go back on a promise. Hence why it took me so long to come to this difficult decision. But I am doing this right now for the greater good. The sooner I close the game, the less people it'll impact. And no, I was not paid off or asked by possible future competitors to close my game. 